What's going on guys? I was out here just performing a heating maintenance and found this system almost completely out of refrigerant. Uh, this coil was changed by another company in 2017 and uh, you can kind of see everything is glazed in oil down there. I already took the remaining refrigerant out but it's pretty easy to find where the leak was. That shoulder nut is split wide open. So, I'm wondering if there was something wrong here. They didn't have the retainer inside. Sometimes they have two retainers because they forget to remove the old one or what the case is. So, I'm going to break that apart. Thankfully, I'm a pack rat. And I had a spare on the truck. So, I'm going to go ahead and break that apart and... Uh, See if I can get that changed out and see what the problem was, but I'll find out when I open it if uh, hopefully that just uh, that distributor head right there isn't damaged or anything and that's the reason why they were torquing it down, but let's break it open and see what it looks like inside. Alright, check this out. I broke the flare fitting loose. I haven't put wrenches on this whatsoever. Look at that. Let's see what's inside. Hmm. <laughs> nope, it does have a retainer in it. First it didn't look like it did. It's got a retainer. It's got one. doesn't appear to be damaged in any way so I'm gonna clean that up and get the new one new retainer and uh, we'll pop the new one on and see if it holds maybe they just uh, maybe they just tighten it down or maybe they possibly use the old retainer from the original and uh, that's why it wouldn't seal and that's why they had to torque it down but that sucker is split son split on both sides oh shit I split all the way. One, two, three. Man, somebody had their Wheaties when they torqued that bad boy down. All right, let's get the new one on there and uh, see if she holds. New pieces in place, tightened down. I'm going to go pump some nitrogen in here and we'll make sure we don't have any leaks before we swap the dryer and evacuate this thing. Alright, got the VN500 throwing some nitrogen in this thing. Thankfully the dryer is outside so I ain't got to mess around in that attic. There's not a whole lot of space up there. I'm going to put the first uh, nitrogen charge up to about 200. Go upstairs, soap bubble if that looks good. I'll throw it up to about 350 and let it sit for 15 minutes and make sure we don't have any drop before we swap that dryer and start our evacuation. Alright guys, she's been on a vacuum now for, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes or so. The system holds 6.34 6 pounds of 410A, so not a whole lot. We'll go ahead and start picking up some of my mess. Got my filter dryer changed out. And we are down... 397 just under 400 microns so I'll let it ride for a little while longer and uh, then we'll do a decay test all that good stuff but not too much longer and we'll be uh, getting up out of here so we pack up some of this mess and uh, I'll get back to you when she's up and running all right guys she's all back together still ironing out the charge right now calling for 10 degrees of soap cooling between 10 and 13 but it's only about 68 degrees outside today, so probably leave it there. Got the factory charge weighed in, 6.3 pounds plus plus a few ounces. So 
should be good to go, but I'll pack up the rest of my stuff and get up out of here. So thanks for watching, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.